Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So this is the 29th tutorial of our Django series. So let's get started with the tutorial. So in this, uh, the, I've created the new link of my repository that is Django To Do App. So from now on, we are going to make app which will we will work on the database. The most probably the database we are going to work is SQL Lite. So today we will start with the To Do App. How we can save our data in the S. Uh, SQLite database and how we can manipulate the data. So basically, we have many operations to perform, like uh, SQLite database. You do app create, read, update, delete operations, and uh, moreover, we can do search plus sort. We can sort the data as well. So uh, we'll perform a regex search and, and even sort the data. So in this tutorial, we are going to start with the SQLite database and a to-do app. So uh, so let's get started with this tutorial. So I again welcome you all to programming knowledge. So let's get started. So please make sure that this is, this is the new GitHub link for our repository. So you you get updated with the repository as well. Okay. So uh, this is my link. So I I've already created a app. Okay. Uh, because uh, this is we uh, we have already learned all this how to create a form. So basically it has a to do title, to do description, and a to do priority. Then I have an add button here. Uh, before we add this. Uh, we make a request to save the data. We have to define a schema to how we want to add our database. Okay, so actually there is a file called models.py file in uh, uh, So what you need to do? So this is a models.py file. So initially I created a class to do uh, So it has models.model. So basically I need to define the schema Okay, so so basically uh, like if in the front end of my part, I have a title, description, and a priority. So I would uh, define the same at the back end part, so I can save my data uh, on the back end part as well. Okay. So let's get started with it. So first, you need to add create title. Title is equal to models dot char field. Okay. So and I'll give max length is equal to two fifty five. Okay. Then description is going to model short text field because this is a text field and i would give uh, i'll uh, there's no necessary to give a text field because it can have many characters as well so then the next would be title description then priority priority is going to model short integer field because uh, this is this is going to be an integer which priority what you want to give and then create it at okay this is equal to model start model start date time field date time field so this would keep the uh, date time field this would keep the track record of uh, whichever date you want and i want you to add one parameter auto underscore add underscore now is equal to true okay so you can do this so my the server my server gets restarted okay there is an auto uh, uh, uh maybe uh auto now underscore add okay let me have a restart uh models created models for date time field now auto now let me check uh okay got an unexpected keyword argument auto underscore add underscore now now uh did it uh, did my server restart after this let me check okay yeah now it's working fine okay so it's good so auto underscore now underscore add is equal to true okay so what we can do so we can uh, we have created the database and now like we have created our database schema so what we can do we can proceed with the form okay so we'll move to the uh, front end part index.html so i'll define a form action here quickly form action or uh, maybe a url first or uh, let me check views dot okay this is a submit okay so what we can do so uh, okay okay this is your file to do app okay yeah so here's I'm making making a request. This is the index page. Then I'll submit the data. Then in my views.py file, okay, I'll create an object. So make sure you import this line. Okay, from dot models import star. Okay, so this would import all the database model. Okay, uh, okay. Let me do one thing. Uh, uh, the, uh okay. 
before you create a model then you need to migrate as well so you need to type python manage dot py make migrations okay so python manage dot py so it says create model to do so i hope you can see the model has been created okay now i would do python this was the earlier command i did python manage dot py make migrations now i would do python manage dot py migrate so this would uh, uh, this would migrate my data so here you can see this has been migrated so even I have my SQLite studio on. So I'll refresh this data uh, tables. So here you can see the tables has been created. So I'll quickly give you an overview. So here you can see this one. So this one has a to do app underscore to do which has five columns. Okay. So which is ID, title, description, priority and created at. So this was the uh, schema which I was telling you. So and these are the default Django uh, uh, schemas uh, which, I'll, uh, which I'll also explain. Uh, in the uh, other videos so uh, id title so for each object you have id then a title then a description then a priority then created ad okay so so what you can do you can uh, move to to do app then uh, what you can do now uh, these are the following options so edit table delete table okay uh, remove the database edit the database add a database and uh, you can uh, look at the following options so next thing you need to do so we'll move to the form Okay, now we will move, we'll move to the form and then submit the form quickly and save the data, data uh, like our to do uh, item into our database. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get done with this. So first, you need to do object is equal to to do because we I have created then object dot title it is equal to request dot get. I hope this is fine. Title okay and object dot description description is equal to request dot get description description okay then object object dot priority okay i'll show you one thing that in my index.html this priority is an input type is equal to number okay that's why i defined an integer field corresponding to that okay object dot priority is equal to request dot get priority priority okay fine then uh, the date will be automatically added to uh, it corresponding to the time and the even uh, also the id will be correspondingly added and i'll do object dot save okay fine then i would return the same thing object dot save turn request index dot html or uh, uh, okay then uh, now i'll must uh, restart my server python manage dot py run server okay and in my index dot html file i'll uh, make an action percent url submit okay now i'll make a percentage send okay so I hope I hope this is working fine. Okay. Uh, oh, let me do one thing. Uh, what we can do? Okay. Now I should make a request. Test. Test. Data. Let this be a priority number one. Okay. So I have made a request. So. Okay. Re reverse is equal to. Okay. Let me check. There is some issue. Uh, person URL. Okay, it says that this URL is not matched. Okay, let me check. Okay, okay. Uh, by mistake, uh, I had to do this submit. Okay. So I hope now it's fine. So I'll uh, make I'll make the request again. Test. Test data. I'll make a test data okay and then priority is equal to one okay I hope this is fine so I made a request and then the, the page got loaded again so let me check if it's in my data or not so I'll refresh the data okay so let me check 
so uh, uh, like uh, here you can see so yeah now here you can see when you click on double click on here then I have the structure then the data so this was the data has been added one ID is one title is test description is test data priority is one created at this time okay I hope this is fine so you can uh, okay now I'll make another request to make sure this is absolutely okay. so I'll make test data to testing application and I'll give priority to it as uh, like suppose 100 uh, 1013 one, one, I'll give 110 one, something you can give anything okay 112 something anything and I'll add so I here you can see that the API has been hit now and I'll check my database so I'll uh, what I'll do I'll refresh this okay and okay let me double click it to do app okay here oh, okay so here is the refresh button okay now it's work sign okay so here is the uh, uh, like uh, 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 you can get familiar with the SQL studio even I uh, uh, so here you can see here is the refresh button also refresh selected database schema and this is the refresh table data so when I click refresh uh, table data so here you can see the second test data to testing application with priority 112 has been added to the database so this works absolutely fine so guys I'll catch you in the next tutorial uh, like uh, this is the just the uh, this is the uh, only part where we add the data and then next tutorial we're going to add the uh, following options uh, like I told you that is create read update so we'll also do update delete operation search operation and even sort the data and uh, read operation also okay so thank you guys thank you so much I'll catch up in the next lecture